What's up guys? This is the first tutorial of the Counter-Strike Global Offensive level design series and we are going to set up the Hammer World Editor and go over some of the basic tools and functions of the program. First, log into your Steam account and find your Library tab. From the drop-down menu, select Tools. In the search box, type Global and right-click on Counter-Strike Global Offensive SDK. Select Install Game. I highly recommend adding this to your favorites. Once installed, right click and select play game. Under applications, right click on hammer world editor and select launch. You should now have the hammer world editor application open with an empty workspace in front of you. Go to file, new, or press control N on your keyboard. I'm going to talk about some of the basic tools in the Hammer World Editor. The first of which is going to be the Selection Tool, or Shift S. And this is used to isolate an object or group of objects you wish to manipulate. With the Selection Tool active, highlight the brush by clicking on it in one of the windows, or dragging your cursor through the brush's axis while holding down left click. The second tool is the Magnify Tool, or Shift G. This is used to zoom in and out of a specific area. Left click to zoom in and right click to zoom out. You can also scroll with your mouse, which is a little bit easier. The next tool is the camera tool, or shift and C. This is used to create different views in your 2D and 3D windows. You can create multiple camera angles and toggle between them. The Entity Tool, or Shift-E, is used to create a point entity, or an entity that exists on a single point on the grid. A brush entity is a brush with a specific function, such as a buy zone or a bomb site. You can create a brush entity by selecting your brush and pressing Ctrl and T. The Block Tool, or Shift-B, this is the basic brush creation tool. The Block Tool allows you to create different types of shapes. It is also used to place prefab objects. The Toggle Texture Application Tool, or Shift-A, is used to adjust textures on a brush or selected brushes. With this tool, you can change, rotate, and even stretch textures to fit a brush. The Apply Current Texture tool is used to completely cover the selected brush with the currently selected texture. Next is the Apply Decals tool, or Shift-D. This is used to place decals upon objects. A decal is a texture that can be placed on top of another texture, combining the two. Common examples include scorch marks or bullet holes. These decal entities can be moved around in the world and will appear on any objects they cover. The Apply Overlays tool, or Shift-O, is used to place decals onto brush or displacement surfaces. Overlays are similar to decals themselves, but are much more flexible. Overlays can be scaled, rotated, and sheared, and an overlay can be drawn at a higher resolution. The Clipping Tool, or Shift-X, allows you to slice the currently selected brush using clip planes. Clip planes enable you to precisely make a cut in a solid, leaving you the option to keep either or both parts of the resulting two solids. It is in some ways quicker and more efficient than carving or vertex manipulation. You have the option of only splitting the brush or actually slicing a piece right off. The Vertex tool, or Shift-V, allows you to reshape the object by manipulating individual vertices and brush edges, easily creating odd and sometimes invalid shapes. This is useful for modifying specific pieces of a group of objects, where resizing would interfere with other objects in the group. 
Also, it allows you to make shapes that are impossible with plain clipping and extremely difficult to do with carving. All right, and that's it for the introduction to the basics of the Hammer World Editor. And with this knowledge, you have taken the first step towards creating your map. Much of this information was taken directly from Valve's developer wiki, which can be found in the link in the description. Uh, I hope I helped you, and if I did, please like, subscribe, and come back for more. I will have more beginner tutorials soon.